rather infamous. You came all the way from Antiva? Not precisely. I was in the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. Okay. Then, unless you're quite stuck on cutting my throat or something equally gruesome, perhaps you'd care to hear a proposal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, EMP. This is a, a mod. <laughs> That's a modded face. They made him look like a young Antonio Banderas. <laughs> That's what I think, at least. I'm listening! Make it quick! Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause, so let me serve you instead. What's to stop you from finishing the job later? To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. Yes, then does look awesome in that armor, doesn't he? And won't they come back after you? Possibly. I happen to know their wily ways, however. I can protect myself as well as you. Uh, not that you seem to need much help. And if not, well, it's not as if I had many alternatives to start with, is it? And what do you want in return? Well, let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice, and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I am yours. Is that fair? I think that set of armor is called the Fade Armor. Yeah. And why would I want your incompetent services? Why? Because I am skilled at many things, from fighting to stealth and picking locks. I could also warn you should the Antivan Crows attempt something more sophisticated now that my attempts have failed. I also know a great many jokes. Twelve massage techniques, six different card games. I do wonderful at parties, no? And I expect the same amount of loyalty you shoot the crows. I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing, that's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing, in which case I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. I don't plan on failing. Very well, I accept your offer. A fine plan. But I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on, were I you. That's excellent advice for anyone. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. You're a fucking elf! And I will remind you that... Man. Okay, I'm going to stick with the current party because I'm planned to... Go to the to the camp. So I'm not going to randomize it. Yeah, yeah, EMP. I, I, I don't kill people just because Morgan disapproved. <laughs> just because you could say. You killed everyone you met, then you will have servants. Fuck why do I keep pressing that? Yes. Friends of Red Jenny. The task was never promised too easy. You said you could enter the Circle Tower and you were believed. Find a small painted box in the first enchanter's office and deliver it to the Doroma 
Ark in Denerim as agreed, or be prepared to find yourself hunted across Ferelden. Okay. I don't have a healer. I have potions. So... I rely on potions for everything. But I might become my own healer. If I run out of... Of... Uh, if I run out of what? Spells. Worthy spells. Creation is always useful. What? So I might uh, start getting creation spells. Yes. Besides the glyph ones, I mean. Which I already have. Yeah, I don't usually take healers with me. But the very wind well. proved very useful once or twice. I don't know. I won't call Shayla a tank. For some reason she dies a lot. Morrigan does the DPS, that's very true. Your wish? And some controlling, but yeah, it's mostly DPS. And Stan, I don't know what he does. He tries to kill shit, I want. But these two guys are really shitty at hitting things. They are... <laughs> Alistair can always tank. Alistair is the tank, I would say. But... I, since I randomized the party selection, then uh, I get whatever, whatever comes with the roll of the dice. You really killed all those abominations? Yes, yes, so you I need to really fly did it, you fucking idiot. Okay, give me the... Tome of Arcane Technique. This tome gives the reader one spin... One point to spend on a talent or a spell. Yes, please. Yeah, I, I never... I never use the party I want to use. I use the party I get. I find that that's m more interesting. From a gameplay perspective and from a story perspective because I get all the banter and interactions. No, especially for a second playthrough. Such as this. And in gameplay I, I need to be more flexible let's say I cannot rely on the old tricks all the time I need to educated okay what do I get aha aha this is good. All hostile targets in the targeted area fall asleep. All hostile targets. That's good for 12 seconds unless they pass a mental resistance check. Also they wake when hit. The sleeping enemies cannot resist horror spells. Which will cause nightmare inflicting spirit damage. The problem with crushing prison is that it's two spells away. And this is a, a, a an AoE, which I, I tend to prefer AoEs to... to 
to single enemy spells. Besides, this doesn't have friendly fire, which is always annoying. When I once I get horror, which I can get horror actually. Morrigan, let me say, let me see. Let me see Morrigan. I am here. Morrigan. I don't think, no, that's a long, a long way off. I think I'm going to get Morrigan these the spells. This line of spells. Then dropping cloud. Friendly fire puzzle, that's not good. But yeah, I could use this. If a target is afflicted with a death hex and enters the entropic cloud, the death hex is dispelled, the target suffers entropic death. That sounds useful. Death hex? What is that? Death hex. Well, I could get the death hex myself and g get Morrigan this. That could be useful. So, where's that? Uh, bad luck. Every normal hit becomes critical. If a target is afflicted with death hex and enters the earth cloud, yeah, that could work out. Now, but I don't think crushing prison is too far away. Too far away. Okay, that's what I wanted to. Let's go to the camp. And, uh, and what? I have been studying Mother's Grimoire. Ooh. Do you wish to hear what I have found? Okay. Hexes are really useful. I agree with you. Hexes are really, really neat. What did you find? It is not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands, but this is not it. Yet you look disturbed. Disturbed? Yes, perhaps that is the right word. One thing in particular within her writings disturbs me. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. A spell of immortality? Oh, if only it were so. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout Chastened Legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter. And when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Okay. That makes sense. Are you certain about this? Indeed. That is primarily what this tome details. The various daughters that Flemeth has acquired. Their preparation and training. I recognize all of it. I am to be her next host. This is my purpose. Well, she did say she was the most valuable thing ever. <laughs> so why would she risk sending you with me? I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said, 
The Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. So, if you like, she would have another daughter. Not by any natural means. Perhaps I should take this as a vote of confidence from her on my capabilities? <laughs> or perhaps she simply wished me gone from the Kokari Wilds so she could prepare her ritual in peace. A disturbing thought. Yes, it is. So, it's Flemeth Immortal or not? Whatever spark of the demon that made her what she is remains within her, keeps her from dying of old age, but her body deteriorates. Eventually, she would be so wizened as to be senseless and immobile. So, she must seek a new body, a fresh body, and start the cycle anew. Hello, Paisian, how are you? Can this body be anyone, or must it be a daughter? I am uncertain. According to her writings, certain hosts are better than others. The more a host is prepared, the quicker the transition will be. I am sorry. This simply takes me by surprise. I would have thought I would have had some inkling, some notion. You really have no idea. Flemeth is capable of many things. I was a fool not to suspect her capable of using me for her own self-preservation. Just woke up. Were you watching Birlami play Dark Souls until 4 a.m. or something? <laughs> when I went to sleep, I saw she was playing again. Did she get past that, uh, that, uh, undead parish place? So, what do you intend to do about it? There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Kill Flemeth? Isn't that a little extreme? It may seem so. If you think of Flemeth as a mother, think of her instead as an ancient abomination that intends to use her own flesh and blood to extend her life beyond all natural limits. She did <laughs> not wish anyone to get a hold of this information, least of all me. Now I have. If I do not act on what I know, then more the fool am I. That is true. I'm not sure she is her flesh and blood. That's just uh, flourishing things. Making the rhetoric dire. So I agree to this. Yeah, I would guess moderating a chat of 40 or 50 people is rather difficult. Why do you need my help? Because if she is slain while I am near, I am not certain that she will not simply be able to take possession of me right there. So obviously I cannot be the one to do it. I think that's wise. Very well, I'll help you if I can. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. Confront her and slay her quickly. I doubt she will truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. Now 
you serious? Kill the Flemeth, the witch of the wilds. <laughs> she would like everyone to think she is invincible, but I highly doubt that is the case. And besides that, you are not truly killing her. <laughs> of course. That puts my mind to ease. <laughs> I'm going to betray the most powerful wizard I've ever met. And even then she won't die and will remember I tried to kill her. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. Morgan approves. Flemeth's grimoire. Give Flemeth and take her real grimoire. All right, let's go to a chest of many things. <laughs> That's a good name, isn't it? The chest of many things. Let's see what I can give the peoples of Ferelden. Now that they are all leveled up. They are all leveled up, aren't they? No, I think not. Indeed. Yeah, let's take the guys that were not in the party. Yes. Let's make sure they are all leveled up before I do this. Otherwise, they could have stat gains. There you go. Strength, dexterity, and constitution. Good old Alistair. Let's give her poison making as well. Aha! Cleanse area. The Templar purges the area of magic, removing all dispel only effects from those nearby, but not the Templar himself. Friendly fire potion. Sounds nice. That are these three. Character lashes out Sustained and passive The character is proficient enough with the shield to defend from all angles I don't know, this Templar thing sounds nice Yeah, that, that will be very useful. I don't know, EMP. I've, I've er, always had more more problems with mages than, than with warriors. And he's not meant really to, to do damage. I, I agree, shield wall would have been my second option. But this is just too useful. To ignore. Especially since I've, uh, I died because a spell backfired. The only time I've died it's, is because of that. I did this. As, let me let me see what happens. I should. It will be done. That's this is how I died. Why do they? Yeah, they get released faster because they are mobs of higher level. I need to remember that. This is exactly what happened to me. For some reason enemies always get released earlier than the party itself. Don't know why. But having a spelling effect is, is really important. I will get shield wall later. Very well. The next level up. But yeah, I, ne I, I really need to, to... This description is a lie. This description is a lie. Because 
Taste it says all targets within 5 yards will be paralyzed for 20 seconds, but that's a lie. If the enemy is of... If it's a, an elite or a boss or whatever, it's not 20 seconds, it's less than that. That's how I died. Because of these lies. <laughs> the game lied to me! Alright. I guess I ran yes, yes. with... Shale? Shale was with me, wasn't it? And yeah, if if I were building a, 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 a normal tank, I would do what you suggest. But since I am I have so many things that incapacitate enemies. I the tank is not as important in the traditional sense of of getting the enemies to come to it and fight it and only yeah focus on the tank and leave everyone else alone since i can paralyze them and incapacitate them the tank doesn't really need to feel that that task of getting everyone to focus on it and leave the rest of the party alone because they cannot attack in any event the rest of the party so yeah since they cannot close in to attack the party I don't need a tank to draw them away from the other people okay now let's equip that is not what I want shit the fucking idiot. Alright. What I want is to equip Severan. You can use the mage SI, holy shit. That's something interesting. Let me see. Enchantment? Yes. Enchantment! I have no runes. Okay. We shall see. Let's equip Severan. There he is. Can can well let's give him the mages. I, I think Leliana cannot use it. No, she cannot. So let's give Severan the mages I. He has a very good fucking... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I will make him, he, yeah, he, him a dual wielding rogue. But I also give every, every warrior, I mean, every melee character I give a, a bow. Because I tend to, to break the mobs into twos or threes, and while they close in, I can pepper them with arrows. So, yeah, this is his secondary weapon, not his uh, his primary weapon. But that Antion thing may be good for Leliana. She cannot wear it. Holy shit! It's fucking crazy. Okay. Now daggers. Let's see. This is a really good sword, actually. Ten damage and three rune slots. Five damage and two rune slots. Okay, the enchanted daggers are going to die. Two rune slots, two rune slots. 